welcome to the start of another weekly vlog. Hope you're doing well. This time of the year can be really funny, can't it? It's like, starts off really inspiring and then January feels like an absolute slog. It is only Wednesday and it feels like this month has been going on forever. I've been feeling it. I've been feeling the whole Blue Monday thing. I've been feeling a little bit low and slumpy this week but I think the rest of the week is going to pick up I've got some nice plans and I'm going to bring you along for all of them what time is it I'm desperate for a cup of tea let's go downstairs and put the kettle on last week I started learning how to knit and I didn't mention it in last week's vlog but I was knitting a lot I spent a lot of time last week knitting and I'm so excited to say that I've nearly finished my scarf it's taken about a week a week and three days but it's like um it's like a proper scarf now i'm so proud of myself i've just got like this much left to go which is probably just going to take me another sitting but look it's like a proper long cozy scarf i'm so proud of myself i never thought i'd actually be able to knit something like this and i've done it i'm so and i'm so proud of myself i would highly recommend learning a new skill or a new hobby especially something like that isn't online and isn't on your phone because the amount of pride and happiness i feel for myself is like unparalleled so it has a lot of mistakes for example it, i started off with 20 like 20 stitches and i've somehow ended up with 23 and i know why i've done it so i can not m make that mistake again in the future but it means that like at some places there's a hole there's a hole here i'm not gonna let that stop me i think what i'm gonna do is like sew a little love heart in a different color there just to like yeah make it it's a bit like that um kintsugi isn't it it's like making something beautiful out of a mistake or an imperfection so i'm gonna cover that bit up and then i've also experimented with different stitches i don't know if you can see so i've got actually got like um i think this is called a stockinette stitch but i might be wrong about that but the stockinette stitch means that it like the fabric curls curls inwards like this apparently you shouldn't use a stitch on a scarf but no one told me that and it was actually in the kit that i purchased like it told you how to do that stitch a lot of my scarf is like creased i don't know if you can see that like here and then here and then once i found out that that was why and i can't just iron it out i've stopped and for the rest of it i've just done a normal stitch and again like at the end i'm gonna learn apparently how to like tuck all these bits of excess fabric in this is from when i have attached a new wall of yarn because there are three walls of yarn that has gone into this scarf so you can see where i've started a new one here where's the other one here um and yeah that at the end i'm gonna learn how what to do with those but yeah i'm gonna finish this maybe tomorrow night because i would love to wear this scarf out at the weekend so that's the plan oh no oh my god maurice is eating it <laughs> look maurice is obsessed with eating this wool which is really annoying because it was quite expensive it's like merino wool fabric but i love the color of it and i'm so proud of myself so i had loads of people asking actually if i could share some of my favorite youtube videos that have helped teach me the stitches like the ones that i found most helpful because youtube oh my god is absolutely the way to go instead of paper paper examples just don't aren't worth buying so i will leave all of the ones i found helpful so far um, in the description box but I'm also thinking of making a, a separate dedicated knitting video because I'd love to try and knit a beanie hat and a sweater vest next so maybe I'll make like a dedicated video to both of those and we can learn together because obviously they are going to be a lot more complicated than just a scarf so yeah I'm, I'm very excited about that I am going to curl my hair now I have a super exciting event tonight i am going to the european premiere of the new cirque du soleil which i'm 
so excited about. I'm taking G. There's a dress code which is regal. I don't know what that means, but I'm not planning on walking the red carpet or anything. So I'm not gonna go too overly fancy. But you can help me choose what to wear in a bit. I'm just gonna curl my hair using my GHG curlers. And I've been having so many compliments on how I've been styling my hair recently. Um, so I've actually filmed a proper tutorial on how I use this to get my kind of signature waves. So stay tuned to Instagram because that will be coming up this week. In, in fact, it might already be up by the time this vlog goes up. Oh, I'm also um, listening to the audiobook by Prince Harry. His book Spare has just become available to me on borrow box so yeah i've just started listening to this so i'll have that one in the background and i can also drink my tea whilst i do my hair what a treat i think i might wear this to the premiere tonight it is an outfit that i've had for so long but only just got kind of tailored to my short legs at the end of last year you'll have to ignore the little bra i'm wearing under this i would go braless probably tonight but i think it's from mango and it's like an all-in-one jumpsuit with this nice sweetheart neckline and mesh sleeves and just team it with some nice black heels yeah i think it's just kind of understated it'll be comfy warmer than a, a regular dress what do you guys think the only problem is i am a little bit bloated at the moment so it does look a little bit <laughs> A little bit out there but I still really like it. This is a dress I completely forgot that I purchased just before Christmas I want to say. I saw it on a girl on Instagram and I fell in love with this. She styled it a bit differently. She styled it with like a skims, what would you call it? Like um, like a bodysuit but like short bodysuit with little shorts on it. But it is a stunning sheer mesh dress with these beautiful kind of sequin flowers on it i absolutely love this it's got the big puffy sleeves i would say it's a little bit too big for me i try to like hike it in at the back because it is like a corset style at the back but i think i really just need a smaller size because there's so much excess fabric there yeah i absolutely love this i just need to get something a little bit better to wear underneath because the dress that comes with it just is a little bit too long for me and i've currently got it like tucked in under my bra but yeah how stunning is this dress I'm definitely not going to wear it today but i'm going to save it for a special occasion this year okay this next outfit i have been wanting to wear for so long i actually found this in a charity shop when we went to deal in september i found this waistcoat and i was like oh my god that is absolutely beautiful so it's a black velvet waistcoat with these gold threads running through it and it's so pretty it just catches the light so beautifully so i picked it up and i um, was carrying it around the store browsing and then i found a matching skirt i don't know why they weren't like hung up together but i'm so glad i found the skirt to go with it because it's the most beautiful two-piece set that I think is super vintage. Like, the labels in this are so old. And oh, I just, I really, really want to wear this out. I don't think tonight is the occasion. But, yeah, there will be a point in the year that I do get to wear this. Will you even be able to see how beautiful it is? So, so sparkly. And then the skirt is just, like, a straight skirt. Kind of long on me. It, maybe it's supposed to be a bit shorter on the average maybe like there but i just think this is the coolest i would probably like add a little clip here to clip the top closed because i think that looks kind of cool but open with a little crop top works as well so i just really want an occasion to wear this at some point i think it's so special it's funny as well because a couple of months after i found this i found something very very similar in another charity shop that i also picked up yeah it's a lot shorter and it also has a little slit at the back and then the waistcoat which is downstairs has like um it's got a little clip and it's also got a tie around so you can really clinch it in at the waist and it just gives the most beautiful silhouette and again i think this is so old like look at this label it's from a company called susan barry in london which i've never even heard of before size 12 apparently 
which is can't be true because this is so tight on me and it's 100 percent cotton apparently and the only reason i haven't worn either of these yet is because um i really need to get them dry cleaned like they do smell a little bit musty and that is another reason why i am not going to be wearing this tonight but yeah i've just got so many pieces from charity shops that i found that i really need to take to the dry cleaners because i really want to start wearing them all um also whilst we're on the whilst we're on the chat of charity shop store finds this is one of the things that i picked up in paris which i haven't shown you guys yet and i actually haven't used yet again i need an occasion but it is this handbag which i absolutely love and it's brown i don't really have any brown handbags in fact i don't have any like shoulder handbags like this at all but the thing i love about this most is how to open it look at this so there's like no clasp but what it does have is this little bar and you like lift the bar up and then it opens oh my god i love it so much i just think that is the most fun handbag ever again i really need an occasion to wear that out because it's so cute Oh my god, that takes so long. We never shut this blind normally, but we have been recently to try and keep some some heat in. Um, all ready to go out. I quickly topped up my makeup. I've added a little belt, which I might take off when we get there. That's really just to hoik these trousers up a bit, and um, because I got them tailored to long, like to heels, so they're still a tiny bit long in flats. Um, and I've got my heels in a bag because I, I just, I'm not walking. I'm not walking in heels to the station. <laughs> so I'm wearing my Converse now. I'm gonna put a coat on. It is so cold at the moment. Part of me feels like I should be smart and wear this, but it's just not as warm as my other coat. So I could lay up my thermal up with more thermals. <laughs> I mean, this is not, I really struggle with what coats to wear with an outfit. You know what, that'll do. I'll take it off as soon as I get in. So I've got a, a thermal layer from Uniqlo and then another thermal layer from Zara. <laughs> and then I'll change into my heels when I get there. I think, I think you can't take um, cameras into the Royal Albert Hall. So I'm gonna leave this camera here and I'll vlog everything else on my phone. I have been looking for this jumper that I knew that I owned. I'm not even joking, since like October, November. <laughs> I had a really nice Christmas jumper as well, which I really wanted to wear over Christmas, but I couldn't find it anyway. I found a box of jumpers under my bed and it had all the jumpers that I was missing in it. So I'm just so happy to have found this again. It's one of my favorites and I feel like red is really in at the moment. I got this so long ago, it's from French Connection, but it's just one of my favorites. It's just such a nice, beautiful, like cable knit, um, really snugly, and I've teamed it, right? I'm just gonna get undressed for you here. I've teamed it with a thermal long sleeve Uniqlo top and my thermal Uniqlo leggings under my trousers, so I'm like, properly thermaled and layered and um, because it is minus three degrees in london today <laughs> it's it's minus three but it feels like minus seven apparently according to the weather because the wind is making it feel colder feels like minus seven what so i am heading out today i just i'm just feeling super cooped up and I was thinking I need to get out of the house and I need to like make some content. So I have found a bakery to go and visit and review for you guys because I've seen them being spoken about loads online recently and they do a tiramisu cruffin, which is like a mix between a, cro a croissant muffin, but it's tiramisu flavored. And 
It's called Sourdough Sophia and it is so far away. It's going to take me like over an hour to get there. It's in Crouch End, but it will be worth it, you know. I'll go there, I'll have a coffee, I'll have some food and then I'll head back here and edit for the rest of the afternoon. I just need to get out of the house to make some content rather than just feeling quite uninspired and moping around at home thinking that I should edit 9 to 5 when in fact I could be going out finding cool places to recommend to you guys so yeah we are gonna head there i've messaged them just to make sure they're doing the tiramisu product today and they are so let's head off it's 9 30 oh, it's only saying 45 minutes now that's not bad is it There isn't anywhere to sit inside there, so I have got my croissant to go. I've got coffee, and I think I'm gonna have a little mooch around with some charity shops. I actually need to get some frames for our uh, living room gallery wall, and um, I thought I'd get them second hand, so let's go and see if we can find any. The crouch end is so cute. It is like super fancy around here. So many little independent um, food stores and bookstores. I'm home and I'm frozen to the bone. I thought I'd show you some of the bits that I picked up today. I did like the tiniest, most random bit of shopping I've ever done in my life. Like all of this stuff is so random. So I've got my craft in, but I haven't eaten it yet. So we'll have to try that in a sec. I got some frames from a charity shop. We have some like space for A5 pictures on our gallery wall that we're still putting up there. And I found this one for 95p. So I've got a couple of things I can put in here. And then I found these ones as well. I thought I would paint these black and then they can go up too. So I might do that maybe at the weekend. I picked up, oh, I, went, I found the most cute, the cutest little like green grocers, like an organic store selling all the fruit and vegetables you can imagine. Like they had, really rare fruits in there like um, mango steams which is a treat but i picked up two baby cucumbers so i can do some more pickling i popped into m s on my way home because i was so hungry maurice no 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 what are you doing little boy oh you're so nice and warm um, yeah, I needed to pick up something to eat because I was so hungry and I was starting to feel a bit sick because I was so hungry. I had a coffee and coffee on an empty stomach is not the one. I picked up some carrot sticks, but I also found some maple butter, like maple syrup butter. So I'm going to put that in the fridge and have that on crumpets this weekend. It says perfect with pancakes on bacon or roasted root veg. How good would that be on like carrots roasted in the oven? It sounds so nice. In one of the charity shops, they had a box of yarn on sale. So I picked up two of these kind of fine, thin knits. I've been watching so many knitting videos on YouTube in the background whilst I'm getting ready recently. So I want to experiment. And these were only 75p. <gasps> and then finally, I found this amazing Korean shop. And I had so much cool stuff in there. Um, and I couldn't resist picking up two things. I got some gochujang because I really want to make some Korean kind of spicy chili um, chicken wings. And then I also found this and I mainly bought this because I want to film a TikTok. So if you want to see me try these, watch my TikTok. I found cucumber flavored Lay's, which just sounds so rank. But I couldn't resist trying it. These are £2.50. But all in the name of content. <laughs> Maurice, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to quickly heat up um, some lunch. I've got like a dal that I can have for lunch. And then we can try this cruffin. Mm. And then that's really all apart from today. I've got some editing to do. 
and I've got a handstand class later this evening which if you're interested in seeing some of the stuff we get up to I do post sneak peeks on my Instagram and I can always include that in a vlog in a couple of weeks time if you'd like to see what we get up to isn't that right you're the handsomest boy I love you so much are you ready oh it's got like cream inside which I'm guessing will be like coffee flavored little lady finger on top with some more cream Apart from the lady finger on top, it's not overly tiramisu-y. I've just dug out some paint from our garden storage. I'm using Lick Black 01. Oh my god, my eye is twitching today. Um, and I'm going to paint these frames that I picked up from the charity shop yesterday alongside this one. I painted this IKEA boxy one pink, but I don't like the pink colour anymore, so I'm going to paint this black as well. Little arts and crafts day today. A lot of decluttering as well. Should probably not be doing this in a nice jumper, but ew! So many spiders in that drawer, it's so gross. Uh, in the bottom corner, just uh, working away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, babe, I didn't think you were in that. Oh. It is a couple of days since I last vlogged, but I wanted to show you the frames. I actually have been putting off filming this bit because I still haven't put anything in the frames. I've been being productive in other areas of the house, but um, yeah, they came out well black frames so against this wall i think that will look kind of cool we're gonna have one there and then one up there um and then another couple here um so this has just reminded me oh no i've already pulled some oh no it's because they're all sticking together that's annoying just reminded me because i'm actually about to go to hobbycraft and i need some like paper mount for the backing of those frames so i'm gonna add some card onto my list um i am so excited to go to hobbycraft i've just i've been filming like a proper knitting video and sorry i'm just <laughs> turning my crumpets over in the toaster yeah i'm filming a proper knitting video that will have all of the links in there to all the videos that i found most helpful and it's like a little look at me learning to knit and some of the projects that i want to be working on next and i'm going to go to hobbycraft as part of that video and pick up some new wool and show some of the patterns that i'm going to be making in the future so i am really excited about that and uh, wait what do i i think i'm gonna have i think i'm gonna have cheese and marmite my cheese and marmite on a crumpet and maybe a peanut butter crumpet do I want cheese and mama and a crumpet? I don't think I do. Do I? Oh my god, why am I so indecisive? Yeah, I could have cheese. I could have cheese on a crumpet. It just means I've got to turn the grill on. Um, yeah, so I'm about to go there, but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here and um you guys can keep an eye out for that content in a couple of weeks' time. But I hope you've enjoyed this vlog um and I will see you next week.